A decision tree uses a tree-like graph to model decisions and their possible consequences. In a decision tree, all the condition nodes on a single level represent the segmentation of the same variable. Each level is a variable in the business object model. To create a decision tree, select the folder where you want it to be stored, then click the New drop-down menu and select Decision Trees. Enter a unique name for the tree. Optionally, enter a description. Select the return type and add parameters for the tree. Click Next. Add the condition variables using the property picker. Once you've added all of your condition variables, click Next. Select the action variable from the property picker and then click Done. You can define and edit the tree's reference name, description, return type, and parameters. The reference name is the SRL name. This is used when the decision tree is called from another entity. To get started, select the Start node, right-click, and select Insert Level. Repeat this process from the Start node until you have inserted all of your levels. To add conditions to the tree, right-click and select Insert Split. The data type of your level determines the conditions you can create. In the case of a level with a numeric type, you can create any number of branches when you enter a range of values. If you have a string or enumeration values, you can merge the branches to create OR conditions on a single branch. Right-click on a node and select Edit Split. Merge conditions by dragging and dropping a condition onto another one. It's also possible to reorder your branches. Simply drag and drop the conditions to reorder them. When you're finished, click Apply. When you're done adding the branches to the condition columns, right-click a node in the last condition column and select Apply Value. Assign a value to the action and then click Apply. Here is the completed decision tree. For more information about decision trees, see the Decision Modeler documentation.